to another episode of Turmo Talk with me, Steven Spice. Today's episode is a dream come true for me because it, he truly is a wrestler that I look up to and respect a lot for helping to change the world of wrestling. Please welcome to the show one of my, of the people that I am truly marking out getting a chance to interview. I would like to so welcome to the show, two-time Intercontinental Champion, the winner of the two Slammy Awards, the t- 2018 Sports Illustrator w- Wrestler of the Year, the 2019 CBS's Smack Talker of the Year, the 2019 CBS's Promo of the Year winner, the man who was named by PWI as having a, the Match of the Year in 2019, Currently ranked number seven in the top five in wrestlers, top 500 in wrestlers in PWI 2020, the two-time AWT and champion. Oh, one part of that down. The man who won the Dynamite Award for best moment on the mic, one of the ex- executive executive vice president of AEW, Mr. Cody Rhodes! How are you? Okay, hi, Cody. What? Welcome to the show. Intro, How, are you? How, are How are you? How are you? I want people to know, too. I hope you include it. We were talking for like 20 minutes before we started this interview about figures, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, all stuff that might be far more interesting than wrestling. I don't know, but you, the, that was a wonderful intro. The best intro I've ever received on an interview. Thank you very much. Well, very- I'm gonna get work. I'm gonna get three places on WWE, and I'm gonna get one place. I'm gonna get your announcer place on this on AEW. I'm doing good, man. I'm gonna make some money. <laughs> nice shirt too. That's a great shirt. I'm feeling it. You look good. You look good, bud. You look good. Thank you. Hit me with a hit me with a good question, my friend. It's all good. Okay. Before I ask my next question, I want to pass along my condolences to, on the passing of your dad growing up. And oh. you saw firsthand what wrestling was like. And what when did you know that you wanted to be a wrestler? And what does it mean to you to be able to follow in his footsteps? It's funny that you asked that today. Um, today, I kind of hide out because today is the anniversary. It's been six years since he passed away. Oh, uh, so sorry. No, it's quite all right. I would. It's it's very helpful to talk about it. It's one of the things that uh, I learned really um, early on with it. Um, I mean, for me, fo- following in his footsteps, it has so many different meanings, and and being around a lot of second generations and third generations. The best way I think you can follow in anyone's footsteps is really honor what you learned from them and what they gave you and and share that. Basically, what whatever people believe and things like that, you'll hear people say all the time, well, he's with you or he sees you. But even if he didn't, and even if he wasn't, I know I had all that experience with him that I can share, that what I'm telling somebody might be something that he directly told me. And with that in mind, he really is with me. So that's that's something when it comes to following his footsteps, it's important that I apply those things. But I you can't make your life a tribute to somebody, which is in the case of him. He's on so many people's wrestling Mount Rushmore. He's such a significant player. I technically could make my life a tribute to him. And I do so much already um, on on the show and as part of the product that's tributes to him. But The best thing I can do is be me, be me because I feel the best of my knowledge. That's probably what he would have wanted. And being me already has a part of him in it. If that makes sense. Does that make sense? Well, yeah, because you're all the same DNA and yeah. That's right. Yep. Fun fact, actually what helps me with my dog's passing 
Mm -hmm. that they're right here looking at me, lying down with me, and all that. And for my neck, for me, a wrestling hero like you is everything because they give me the strength to keep fighting the, my condition bit besides your dad, who were your wrestling heroes and icons growing up? Oh, that's a, that's a great question. And I, I'll say that it's important that you know, you know, you've been really nice as far as talking about how much wrestlers mean to you. It is not, um, it can't be undersold how important you are to wrestlers. It's various, very much a symbiotic relationship. Um, I'm always shocked when you meet wrestlers that don't understand what fans are and don't understand, you know, won't sign for people or have some, it's just wild to me. The greatest thing we can do is be a positive force in somebody's life because you are a positive force. For example, you are a positive force in my life. Uh, you're a fan and a friend and now we're colleagues on this interview. And I, those are the people you perform for. Um, when I was growing up, my favorite wrestlers were Sting, um, undoubtedly. So much of my career has been modeled after Sting. And I would love to wrestle Sting, but I don't think he's going to do a singles. Um, Sting and then Shawn Michaels were my favorite wrestlers. And I got to mix it up with Shawn. And, I mean, this is literally watching a master painter, basically, um, in the ring. You could learn something with every step he took. Um, yeah, those were my favorites. Very important to me. By the way, congratulations that you get to work with your hero, the I icon know. Sting. It's, uh, it's really cool. I, I'm the type where I'm, I'm kind of at a distance because I just like seeing him. You know, just like seeing him when he walks by, it changes the whole environment backstage. It's it's kind of all fun and games with all the Generation Zs and, you know, young, young veterans that AEW has. A lot of young veterans. But then somebody like that walks by and, I mean, it's legit winter is coming. You can feel that presence from a mile away. Just someone who really did it, really made money, really changed the entire wrestling world and made people look at him. Very special person. I'm, I'm blessed to work with him. This is what I'm doing. I'm squeezing my fingers because I'm so scared. Well, what are you scared of? I'm scared that I want you to ask a few more questions because I'm like, it's just going back and forth. That So here's what, here's the deal. Don't worry. Don't ever be scared ever because the, the, conversation you have in your and your new kind of role as an interviewer conversation is where so much of the magic happens i'm going to give you a wrestling example wrestlers come up with a lot of spots and things to do in the match but when we think about only that we miss the magic that actually happens right there in the moment so so much like we found out i found out your favorite ninja turtles Leonardo, uh, you found out my oh, favorite. My secrets, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, all that. So don't worry. And I, I will go ahead. You have my word. Uh, when it comes, whenever it's ready, I will do a second interview with you and gladly do a third interview and a fourth interview. And we'll just keep doing these. Interviews. I got a list of stuff to get you. And I do. I could do one more question. You hit me with it. Your, your favorite question. Okay, you're an inspiring person and someone that many wrestlers and kids look up to. That are you just are that are you just starting in the business? What is what advice do you have for the little kids that watch you wrestle now, or for young wrestlers that are just starting out in the business? Probably my my number one piece of advice is be safe with your body as a wrestler your body is your instrument and wrestling today no joke is it's not going to change back to what it was we can't go backwards the speed is getting faster the moves are getting more dangerous it's not unlike any sport it's evolved with that in mind you got to find a good school with an accredited trainer, with a proper ring, a proper crash pad, all those items, and just be safe. Don't ever do anything 
that you feel like you're not confident doing that you couldn't pull off five times in a row flawlessly. And this might sound cliche, but when you're a young wrestler, it's so important that you have fun because one going to be, it's going to be critical. It's going to be egos and, and people angry and just very passionate. And sometimes we forget the whole point of this is to have fun when we're having fun and audience is having fun. Um, and that's for a young person getting in the business. If you're not having fun and you haven't really made it yet, you likely won't have fun when you do make it. It should be fun the whole way through from the day you start training to the day you retire. You should never not be having fun. I mean, we're out there play fighting in our underwear. It's, it's supposed to be fun. Um, and uh, I always like to have fun and try to have fun and take care of the people I'm in there with. Okay. Well, guys, that's all the time we have that we have for today's episode. I want to say, give a huge thank you to Cody for t- taking the time to sit down with and chat with me. It truly mean, meant the world to me. I truly hope that AEW can come to Toronto so I can meet you in person one day to say thank you. Make sure to check out Cody Rhodes on AEW Dynamite on and up on the upcoming show Rhodes to the Top. Do you have any final words, Cody? Oh, no, I think you said it best. Obviously, uh, follow us on Dynamite, on TNT, and then Roads to the Top is going to be a very fun show. A real look behind the scenes is what my life is like. Uh, Go Big Show on TBS, of course. And, yeah, all the goodness. It's all right there on TNT, TBS. Yes. You uh, go there. You can't miss it. Thank you again so much, Cody. Thank if you, you would like to see more videos like this, please sh- make sure to give a huge crossroads to that like button and bionic elbow to that subscribe button and always remember to be yourself bye guys thank you so much guys thank you for having me bye have a good one make sure you subscribe to steven's wrestling journey you click turn on those notifications give it a like let youtube know let everyone know that this is a great show he's got great guests uh he's the best host the host with the most, uh, and I can't wait till our next interview. Guys, subscribe, like, do all that good stuff for our friend here. And my friend, I will talk to you later. Bye. Bye.